Hello everyone, in order to get the Clayman's Harpoon, you're going to need to progress to the Soifra River Well, and that's located on the east side of Limgrave right here, and I'll zoom back in for you. And then once you get here, this is what the surrounding area looks like. And then you're going to progress inside this structure. And then you're going to go on the platform in the center of this structure. And then you're going to descend into the Soifra River area. Once you get to the bottom, you're just going to progress into this structure right ahead of us. And I'll get on a torrent. We'll just follow this path. And you don't have to travel very far. And then right in here, you're going to farm all of these enemies. You're going to keep on killing these enemies until they drop that weapon. And if none of those enemies give you a drop, then all you have to do is just fast travel to the site of grace right next to the lift that brought you down into that area. And then once you fast travel back here, that's going to reset all of those enemies. And you literally just keep on going back and forth until you get that weapon. And I just got it off of this guy right next to the waterfall. And then by default, this spear has the Ash of War on it called Impaling Thrust which does that and if you want to change that all you have to do is go to a site of grace rest at it and then click on your ashes of war tab click on the weapon and then we can choose something else for example this ash of war loretta's slash and what a lot of people do is they end up going with the magic affinity especially if you have a higher intelligence stat whereas i'm set up for strength so i'm just going to go with heavy but i'll still use this ash of war and then after you change that ash of war now you can use the new ability. And one final thing that people do with this weapon is instead of putting the magic affinity on this weapon, say you go with the heavy affinity like I did, then what you can do is you can put the scholar's armament on this weapon. And that's another way to get that magic damage onto this claimant's harpoon. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions at all, please post them in the comment section. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.